When you start to understand that God is in the business of blessing you and wanting to give you these miracles, because here's, let, let me, let me let you in on this little secret. Let me tell you something. Greetings, beautiful ones. How you doing? Good, good. All right. Welcome back to the channel. I've got something really good for you today. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Fran and my purpose with this channel is to help you live your best, best spiritually evolved life, whatever that means to you. On this channel, I talk about all things spiritual and help you to develop, live and manifest your life however you choose to, reminding you that everything has a spiritual solution. All right, y'all, let's jump into it. For my Fran fans members that are returning, what's up, y'all? How you doing? All right. So let's get into this topic really quick. So this has been kind of in my spirit for about a week and a half. And I really wanted to sit with it before I started teaching it because it was, it was a little bit deeper than... I kind of knew how to explain, right? Because you know what? Sometimes when spirit starts to give you information and it gives you messages, you got to sit with it for a while, right? You got to sit with it. So the message for the collective was that everything can come to you as quickly as you allow it to come. Anything that you desire can come to you quickly if you allow it and if you are available for it. Let's talk about that. All right. So a lot of times when we are creating and we're asking God for something, if that thing doesn't show up, we have this feeling that, well, God just doesn't want me to have that. Or maybe, maybe God is telling me no or et cetera, et cetera. So let me, let me just clear some things straight out the box. First of all, God wants you to have the desires of your heart, whatever those are. So when you think about that, a lot of people immediately go into a place of, well, this is what I was taught when I was younger and this is what I know. And your mindset is kind of stuck in this place of maybe how you were brought up or, you know, whatever the case may be. What, what we have to realize is that once you form a bond with your higher self and not only your higher self, but you get in touch with your higher power, however you identify with that. For me, it's God. Some people identify differently. However you identify, it's okay. It doesn't matter. That's your thing and it's cool, right? But once we really realize that connecting to our higher power is really an act of love, right? It's, it's not an act of, I'm going to come beg you. I'm going to come, come beg you to do something for me because I don't have any control over my life. Or I'm going to come beg you to do something for me because I feel like I have to beg you to get anything. That is really not what allowing and being available for your highest good is. When you are allowing and being available for your highest good, you already know within you that you're worthy of that thing. You already know within you that you are deserving of the thing that you're asking for, right? Where, where we run into the problems of allowing it is we start to go on this carousel of the mind trying to figure out how this is actually going to happen when none of that is your responsibility. It is not your responsibility to figure out how. It is your responsibility to get clear about what it is that you want to manifest. So let me just give you an example. If you want to manifest more money in your life, you can simply ask for more money. I, I'd like to have more money, please. Thank you. For me specifically, I'm going to ask for the amount of money that I want. If I want more opportunities, I'm going to ask for the type of opportunities that I want. If I, whatever I want, I'm very clear about the things that I desire. So I go in asking for those things. Once I have that kind of clarity around it, the, I then realize that 
it has no choice but to come because I'm clear and I'm asking and I'm asking from a place of being connected to my higher power. The biggest problem I think that we have is that we separate ourselves from the God within us, right? We're not separated from that power. We're not, we're not separated from that power. We're not separated from that knowledge. We're not separated from that wisdom. That is why we have been given the gift of intuition. That is why we know the things that we know. It's because we're connected to a higher source, the source that is all things. So when you see people who are manifesting rapidly, right? Who are taking what, what the world calls quantum leaps and are entering a different paradigm shift. It's because they have tapped into the identity of who they really are, right? So sometimes the world tells us we're this person, right? So when we allow the world to tell us who we are, or we try to fit in these little boxes of, of what the world says we should be, do, and have, we truly forget who we are. We forget our real identity. And our identity is that we're always connected to something better, right? At any given time, you can choose better. You can choose a better thought. You can choose a better thing. You have the ability to shift things just by shifting your perception. And if you have a perception of, I am limited and this is all that I can have. My life is never going to be any bigger than this. It's never going to be any bolder than this. I'm never going to have enough to do the things that I want to do. Then your life is going to be very limited. But when you get into a position of allowing, right, and being available for your manifestations, when you get into a position of allowing and being open for things to happen, right, when you start to understand that God is in the business of blessing you and wanting to give you these miracles, because here's, let, let, me, let me let you in on this little secret. Let me tell you something. When God does something spectacular for you, you want to go tell people that, that this thing has happened for me and I've been able to create and manifest this thing. And I went to God and I laid out my plan and I asked for assistance and my whole heavenly staff began to assist me in bringing this thing forward. What is that going to, to spark in that person? It's going to spark one or two things, right? One thing is going to be like, mm -hmm, okay, I God did that. You know how people are. Yeah, I'm sure he did, right? Or what's going to happen is they're going to be like, child, tell me how. What'd you do? What'd you say? God is still moving like that? So you're going to inspire someone to get into a position to choose differently in their life and reconnect to their true identity. You have to be able to be open enough to say, okay, all right, God, here I am. I trust you. This is what I desire. This is what I'm allowing. And this is what I am available for. If it's something in your life that you do not want to be available for and that you do not want to allow anymore, you can also choose that to go away. Like I'm choosing to release this thing. I'm choosing to release this doubt. I'm choosing to release this fear. I'm choosing to release the thought of not having enough. But now I am choosing to have more than enough. I am choosing to have all the love that I can handle. I am choosing to have all the money that I desire. I am choosing to have a successful business. Whatever it is that you allow will manifest in your life and it will manifest quickly. The only things that don't manifest quickly are the things that we don't truly believe for. If we don't truly believe that something's gonna happen, you are truly right. It is not gonna happen. But the minute you do believe that it's gonna happen, it is going to happen, right? I have been in a space 
where even here on YouTube, if you go back and you look at some of the lives, the angels have given me messages for people and people are kind of like, okay, Dr. Fran, I, I believe you, but I don't know, right? The very next week they come back and say, oh my gosh, let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you, because really you just have to have that little bit of faith, that little bit of belief that says, okay, I'm going to allow this thing to happen. I am going to allow this opening in my life. I am going to allow this movement in my life and I'm going to allow God to co-create with me so that I am available for these things. You do not have to do it alone. And I want to remind you of that. Never feel like you have to do it alone because you are never, ever doing it alone. And it will manifest quickly. All right, y'all. Make sure you get active in the comments. Let me know what you think about this video. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.